spooky and fantastical friends. My name is Brittany and welcome back to my channel. I am a 28 year old autistic girl and I make videos about fantasy books and autism here on this channel so if that sounds like something that you'd be interested in please feel free to give this video a big thumbs up, like it, subscribe, and uh, hit the bell notification so you're notified every time I upload more content. Just a minute. Just getting my drink here. Some orange juice tonight. Ah, tastes like sunshine. Okay, so this video is going to be just a little very, very, very brief uh, update on a few new experiences I've had lately. So the first thing I want to, I guess let's just dive right in. So the first thing that I want to talk to you guys about is that I was featured on a new YouTube show, a new YouTube channel um, by another wonderful autistic YouTuber. His name is Charlie. Um, he reached out to me on Instagram and um, to be a part of his uh, YouTube show called uh, Unmasked Conversations. Um, I was a part of the first episode. Uh, in which it's just one autistic person talking to other autistic people about autism and what autism is and how it affects us and how it's what it is in our daily lives and also just having just sort of a casual conversation. Um, you know, it's really nice for us as autistic people to be able to do that and to have that kind of sense of belonging and community and being able to talk with other autistic people is very comforting um, for a lot of autistic people as well as uh, it's a, a lot different than um, just regular talking to people. Um, there's a lot less pressure and uh, it's just, it was really nice. It was, it's really, really nice to talk to other people where you seem to just sort of have this kind of inherent understanding. Um, yeah, it was really nice. I very much appreciated that. So, just get my chair here. There we go. Okay, so anyway, um, if you want to see the episode, uh, the first episode of the show on Mass Conversations, I will link that episode down below. I'll put a link to that. If you go, please watch that, that episode and please subscribe to Charlie's channel. Um, it's just really fantastic and I love it. So, okay. The next thing I want to show you guys is I want to do a little bit of kind of an updated um, what's in my bag a little bit. This is my new bag. It is the Fjall Raven Konkin Mini and um, yeah, we're just going to go through kind of what I normally keep in here. Um, normally I am, let's just start with the side pockets. So. The side pockets are, they are too flat to keep a water bottle, but normally I would keep um, my phone in one pocket, but I'm filming on it right now. Um, and my fold up tripod in the other pocket. Um, yeah, so that's what I would normally keep in the side pockets. Um, as I said in a previous video, um, I gave you guys a whole tech update, but basically I'm going to be upgrading. I'm going to be getting myself a secondhand uh, iPhone XR at the end of the month and giving my husband my iPhone 7. Um, I also recently got some new cases which I will show you guys later in the video. But this is the new bag that I have. So let's move on to the front pocket. This is really great because this bag is the perfect size as an autistic person. It's not too big, um, but it's enough to carry all the essentials and also some stimmy things. And it just really helps to uh, to keep me um, keep me good when I'm out and about. And it's just it's light enough, so I'm not going to get so tired uh, being bogged down with kind of unnecessary weight in my bag. So the first thing I have in the front pocket is a mask because, you know, COVID. Um, this is kind of where I keep sort of all my COVID-esque essentials. So I've got mask, I've got hand sanitizer spray, little uh, river saw hand sanitizer spray. 
I have these uh, on the go uh, individual soaps because I don't like using the uh, public uh, soap dispensers. Um, so these are really great. Um, I'll just show you here. You just take them out. They just come in this little kind of like a compact case. And then uh, when you just, when you open it, hang on. just got to press it to get it open. I forgot which way this thing opens. Let's see here. Haha! -ha. There we go. Opened. So when you uh, when you actually open this up, you'll see they are these little kind of just very like paper thin little uh, soaps and you just wet your hands and rub one in between your hands and it cleans your hands. So these are really great, um, especially for when I am on the go um, and just because I don't like using the public soap dispensers. Next thing I have in here are uh, sanitizing wipes. Um, this is the uh, Wish brand with uh, fresh scent. Uh, clean hands, kills 99.9% .9 of common germs. Um, I love these. Um, I love wipes. Um, I like to wipe down pretty much everything um, as I kind of go around. So it's really, really great for me to have. And then last but not least, I have these little autism alert cards. I made these from Vistaprint. Um, I chose this design because it looks kind of like one of those kind of old style train tickets and it says uh, hashtag acceptance not cure I'm autistic at the top and then it says I may have trouble making eye contact become become nonverbal if under stress or overwhelmed by sensory stimuli use stims to calm myself down or express emotions such as hand flapping or rocking back and forth you can help by not touching me explaining things step by step being kind and gentle with me allowing me to use my iPad or phone to talk, offering a cold drink, my headphones, or my book. Um, so there's that. And then on the back, it has my emergency contact information. Um, it's just my, um, my husband and my mom's um, phone numbers on the back. So that's all that's on the back. Um, yeah, so that's fun. And my husband's phone number is also the same as his business phone number. So that actually works out really well. Um, you have to just excuse me a moment while I deal with my brother's dog that's whining. Just a moment. Oh, okay, guys. Sorry about that. My brother's dog is just wine sometimes. Luckily, our girls are very good. They don't generally do that, so. Okay, um, moving right along, um, I keep on the outside of this bag the um, a little tote bag. I would love to get um, another um, Fall Raven bag. I would love to have one of each size. Like, I would love to have the whole Fall, Fall Raven line. Um, the larger backpacks as well as this one for a purse slash everyday bag and um, Maybe even the sling bag as well. Although I know the sling bag is like really tiny, but Okay, so moving right along in the big pocket um, Sometimes I would keep um, a uh, my uh, my iPad in here, although I don't normally, um, although sometimes I will, it just sort of depends. Um, yeah, um, sometimes I will keep it in here if it's in its uh, if it's in its slimmer case. I have two cases for it. Um, one is this kind of big bulky. It's a kid's case that has like a handle and everything on it. Um, and the other is a kind of a slimmer case. So if it's in the slimmer case, I will sometimes keep it in here um, in the back, but uh, you know, and kind of have everything else on top of it. 
um, but if it's in the uh, the, the other case, um, I, I don't generally do that um, because it's just too big. It doesn't fit. So I, I have a crossbody strap for it that I will have on, um, which I kind of prefer that better anyway, um, just to have the iPad with the crossbody strap. Um, okay, so usually also what I keep in here is a, um, a bottle of water. Unfortunately, my small water bottle has started to leak, so I have to give it to Value Village or something or get rid of it. Um, but I'm going to buy myself another small water bottle that I can have um, in here. So I always try to keep water. Um, the next thing I have is this cute little pencil case. Um, it says, Always Do What You Are Afraid To Do by Ralph Waldo Emerson. And I have inside, I have, well, right now, normally I have my watch charger and an iPad charger and my phone charger. So I usually have three chargers in here. Um, and then, of course, I ha have this um, block. This is actually the block for my husband's um, backup phone, but it works. It's a uh, turbo power block I have in here. I usually have my cords in here as well, but they're over on the electronics table. They're charging right now, so charging my devices. Um, not my phone, obviously, because I'm filming on that, but like my iPad and my watch are charging, my Apple watch are charging. The next thing I keep in here are is this pair of headphones. These are black web in your sport headphones. Um, I really like these. Um, for a long time, I tried to use um, over the ear headphones because I found them a lot more comfortable, but I just, I find them so big and just so bulky and like, even the ones that fold up, I just find them really hard to carry around and I find they often don't have quite enough clamping force to like stay on my head, like I find they fall off my head. I have a very small head, so these are really nice. Um, they kind of go around behind the head and then they go in like this and my hair can cover them so they're really discreet and um, they have these um, bands that go over the back of the ear so it keeps them from falling out of your ears um, and then they're connected by this cord and they're Bluetooth and they're they're just really fantastic um, they come in two colors pink and black um, but yeah I just I love them so that and then of course in here I have a, in the case, I always keep a little miniature uh, micro USB cable for charging the headphones. Um, I never go anywhere without headphones. They are essential to my ability to cope and like live as an autistic person. I need headphones and I need always an electronic device so that I can listen to an audiobook or a podcast or music whenever I need to, wherever I am. It's so 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 important for me and I just I cope so much better when I have that okay moving right along the next thing that I'm going to show you guys I have in here is this little um, emergency bag now I know a lot of people keep kind of an emergency bag me I keep it in a clear uh, sandwich baggie because I always like to be able to look into the sandwich baggie and see exactly what's in there at a glance. Um, yeah, so this is my little emergency bag. It has um, tampons and lip balm. Um, there is Advil and Tylenol, two small things of Advil and Tylenol in here because I get uh, chronic pressure headaches. There is um, deodorant because I don't like smelling bad. Um, there is a uh, Tiger Balm, again, headaches. Um, I always try to use Tiger Balm first, and if that doesn't work, then I have um, the Tylenol and the Advil as backup. And um, Kleenexes, because meltdowns are messy when they do occur, um, so very important. And then again, take packs because I don't like smelling bad, and also oral stimulation. I'm an oral sensory seeker, so that's very important. Um, the next 
thing I have in here are pens because you never know when you're going to need to write something down or when someone might ask you for a pen. I have had people ask me for pens so much and I don't keep them in the pencil case because that's where I keep my chargers and that. Um, but I just sort of keep them with a little elastic band wrapped around them. Um, it's just easier for me. I can just toss them in my bag and I'm good to go. The next thing that I have in here is a camera case. Now, in this camera case, I do not have a camera in here. Um, this is actually where I found this little camera case and I thought about it and I was like, you know what this would be perfect for? Coupons. So this is where I keep all of my like coupons and like receipts and like papers that you don't want bumping around at the bottom of your bag. Um, I have in here, oh, that's that, but I have in here these um, like save $2, 20% um, off uh, Value Village coupons. I have a few of those. I also have these um, $5 um, gift cards that are on the receipts. So let's go back in there, but I'll just show you guys here. So these are on the receipt. So I don't really need to see that, but you can see it says uh, $5 and uh, it says uh, $5, uh, $5 off. So I have two of these. So that's, that's, that's $10 um, for Value Village. So I'm really hoping that they honor them um, after this lockdown passes. Um, they probably won't, let's be honest, but I, I'm really hoping that they do um, because I just... I really would like to be able to go and uh, spend them, so that's great. Okay, next up, the next thing that I keep in here usually is um, I keep this little pile of business cards. Um, on the one we have my husband's uh, business cards and then on the back we have my business cards for my channel. Um, I keep these, these are actually these are old, um, like the, the information on them is still current, but the logo is old. Um, I do need to get some new ones, but, um, I always keep these on me just to, um, give out, uh, to people. Um, yeah, cause you just, you never know who you're going to run into. Um, next up, I keep um, my change purse. I got this change purse at Buy Village. I absolutely love it. Um, it's this leather flower. It's so pretty and it's so tactile. Like, I just love the feeling of it and being able to like play with like the petals and stuff. It's just, it's really nice. Um, and then, of course, I never liked those squeeze change purses because I always found that they would pinch my fingers. So, I really like these ones with the snap on the top though. And I love like the little clicking sound that they make when they close when it closes. It's just it's so satisfying. Um, yeah, this is my change purse. I keep change in here. That's literally anything. All I keep in here is change. Um, I don't keep anything else in here. Next up is my wallet. I need a new wallet. Um, I do really like this wallet, but I just find that it's just. Like just the shape of it, like, I don't know. It's just, it's, it, it bothers me. But I do like it because it's so, like, it's so compact. Um, I do, I am going to be getting separate card holders for some of my, for all of my reward and gift cards. Like, my rewards cards. I want one card holder for rewards cards, one card holder for gift cards, and then in here... I will have all of my important cards, like my credit cards, uh, SIM card, library card, bank cards, health card, ID card, like all my important cards, um, disability card, I will have all of those um, in here. I'm not going to show you guys those because you don't need to see my ID, but um, yeah, so. Okay, moving right along, um, next thing I keep in here is of course my glasses see here um, it's got this cute little pink uh, glass cleaning cloth it's very soft um, and then it has you guys don't need to see this but it has my optometrist information on it 
um, yeah. Oh, that was louder than I thought it was going to be. Sorry about that. Okay. Next up, I have in here another glasses case. This is, oh, goodness. This is for my uh, clip-on sunglasses. Um, they clip onto the front. Even though I do have transitional lenses, um, sometimes I do find that they're not quite enough uh, for me, um, for my light sensitivity. So I do um, like to have these clip-on sunglasses in case I need them. And let's see what else I have in here. I think that's a about it. Oh, and of course, I mean, every Konkin backpack has one of these. Um, it has a little um, tabby in the back where you can put your personal information on. Um, oh, I almost forgot. There's two, 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 yeah, two more things in here. Sorry, two more things in here. Um, so yeah, so like I said, I also usually keep a water bottle in here um, and sometimes my iPad just depends. Um, but the other thing I have in here is um, this little bear. I actually got this little bear when after my daughter passed away when I was on um, mental health ward. I got him, um, he is just, he's a beanie baby and he's just so soothing and and I can like rub my face with him and like swim with him and he's just amazing. Um, I got him at the hospital um, and yeah he was definitely my my companion for a lot of the time that I was on on mental health ward and I still find him so soothing and so comforting and he's just he's great. So yeah I keep him with me and then last but not least, um, I found that having just one pair of headphones sometimes wasn't enough. Like if I was on the go and one of them died or something and it died, my headphones died, I always found it wasn't quite enough. So I ended up getting these. These are the uh, Sound Peets, uh True Capsule uh, uh, um, earbuds. I really like these. Um, I tried AirPods like a really long time ago, but I found AirPods, they don't fit in my ears. So my ears used to stick out and I had an ear tuck when I was like very young, very, very young. And so now because my ears are literally like sewn to the back, but like sewn back to my head, um, my ear canals are a funny shape. And so it causes, um, I mean, it causes some some difficulties, not a lot of difficulties. Um, I hear perfectly fine most of the time, but um, but it definitely um, means that um, the one style of earbud, like the ones that are supposed to, they don't go right into the ear canal, but they just kind of sit on the outside of the ear canal like this. They will not, they will not stay in my ears. Um, this part of my ear is like a funny shape, and they they just won't stay in. So these are great. Um, they stay in my ears really well. You can see that they're the style. And they just, they go right in and then they go right into the ear canal, inside the ear canal from, from this part. But then this part um, kind of makes it look like they don't. It makes it look like they're the ones that just sort of sit on the outside. Yeah, they're great. I love them. Um, and this charging case is great. I've gotten like almost a whole week out of these on a single charge. Like they're they're phenomenal for battery life and everything. Um, I wish it was a Type C cable they charged with. It's not. It's the old micro USB, but that's the same for my other headphones. Um, I'm hoping my next pair will be Type C, but who could tell? Okay. And last but not least, every single Fjall Raven. Okay, backpack comes with one of these. Um, it goes in the back of the backpack. It helps the backpack kind of keep its shape, but then also it means you always have something to sit on. And that is, of course, the gray seat pad um, that comes with every single um, forward and confident backpack. Um, yeah, so 
I love it. Um, I got this one, of course, like I get everything. I get everything secondhand. I very rarely buy things new, just so you guys are know. Like, if you ever see me with, with like, nice things and you're like, how did she get that when she's on ODSP? It's because I buy pretty much everything secondhand. Um, and I always look for the best deals. So, yeah. But it's, it's almost always secondhand from... But only locally, like so that I don't get scammed. I don't ever order things secondhand from like far away. It's only like local people that I can, so that I can, like if I can get my husband to drive to the person's house to pick up whatever it is that I'm getting and then drive home, um, then that's fine. Or if they come to my house and drop it off and then I'll pay them, that's fine. But I don't ever generally buy things new and I don't generally um I will buy some things new in the stores but not like stuff like this like more expensive stuff I always try to buy it second hand um and always local if I'm buying second hand I don't ever generally I think there was like maybe one time that I ordered something from like further away and that was because number one I couldn't find it second hand local and number two it was an amazing deal and number three um, I was very, very, very sure that I wasn't going to get scammed because I made sure, because the person, I only sent them part of the price of the item, like I only sent them part of the money, and then they sent me the receipt showing that it had been sent, and then when it got here, I checked, made sure it was what they said it was, and then I sent them the rest of the money, so... It worked out really well. Okay. So there's that. Um, so that's sort of the end for the kind of what's in my bag portion of this video. Um, yeah. So I will be right back. I'm just going to run and get the Amazon order that came in today. I want to show you guys what we bought from Amazon for closer to the end of the month when I get my new phone and I give this phone to my husband. So I'll be right back. Oh, okay guys, sorry about that. My brother's dog is just whine sometimes. Luckily our girls are very good. They don't generally do that, so. Okay, um, moving right along. Um, I keep on the outside of this bag the um a little tote bag i would love to get um another um fall raven bag i would love to have one of each size like i would love to have the whole fall fall raven line um the larger backpacks as well as this one for a purse slash everyday bag and um maybe even the sling bag as well although i know the sling bag is like really tiny but okay so moving right along in the big pocket um sometimes i keep um a uh my uh my ipad in here although i don't normally um although sometimes i will it just sort of depends um yeah um, sometimes I will keep it in here if it's in its, uh, if it's in its slimmer case. I have two cases for it. Um, one is this kind of big bulky, it's a kid's case that has like a handle and everything on it. Um, and the other is a kind of a slimmer case. So if it's in the slimmer case, I will sometimes keep it in here, um, in the back. But, uh, you know, and kind of have everything else on top of it. Um, but if it's in the, uh, the, the other case, um, I, I don't generally do that um, because it's just too big. It doesn't fit. So I, I have a crossbody strap for it that I will have on, um, which I kind of prefer that better anyway, um, just to have the iPad with the crossbody strap. Um, okay, so usually also what I keep in here is a, um, a bottle of water. Unfortunately, my small water bottle has started to leak. So I have to give it to Value Village or something or get rid of it. Um, but I'm going to buy myself another small water bottle that I can have um, in here. So I always try to keep water. 
Um, the next thing I have is this cute little pencil case. Um, it says, Always Do What You Are Afraid To Do by Ralph Waldo Emerson. And I have inside, I have, well, right now, normally I have my watch charger and an iPad charger and my phone charger. So I usually have three chargers in here. Um, and then, of course, I ha have this um, block. This is actually the block for my husband's um, backup phone, but it works. It's a uh, turbo power block I have in here. I usually have my cords in here as well, but they're over on the electronics table. They're charging right now, so charging my devices. Um, not my phone, obviously, because I'm filming on that, but like my iPad and my watch are charging, my Apple watch are charging. The next thing I keep in here are is this pair of headphones. These are black web in your sport headphones. Um, I really like these. Um, for a long time, I tried to use um, over the ear headphones because I found them a lot more comfortable, but I just, I find them so big and just so bulky and like, even the ones that fold up, I just find them really hard to carry around and I find they often don't have quite enough clamping force to like stay on my head, like I find they fall off my head. I have a very small head, so these are really nice. Um, they kind of go around behind the head and then they go in like this and my hair can cover them so they're really discreet and um, they have these um, bands that go over the back of the ear so it keeps them from falling out of your ears um, and then they're connected by this cord and they're Bluetooth and they're they're just really fantastic um, they come in two colors pink and black um, but yeah I just I love them so that and then of course in here I have a, in the case, I always keep a little miniature uh, micro USB cable for charging the headphones. Um, I never go anywhere without headphones. They are essential to my ability to cope and like live as an autistic person. I need headphones and I need always an electronic device so that I can listen to an audiobook or a podcast or music whenever I need to, wherever I am. It's so 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 important for me and I just I cope so much better when I have that okay moving right along the next thing that I'm going to show you guys I have in here is this little um, emergency bag now I know a lot of people keep kind of an emergency bag me I keep it in a clear uh, sandwich baggie because I always like to be able to look into the sandwich baggie and see exactly what's in there at a glance. Um, yeah, so this is my little emergency bag. It has um, tampons and lip balm. Um, there is Advil and Tylenol, two small things of Advil and Tylenol in here because I get uh, chronic pressure headaches. There is um, deodorant because I don't like smelling bad. Um, there is a uh, Tiger Balm, again, headaches. Um, I always try to use Tiger Balm first, and if that doesn't work, then I have um, the Tylenol and the Advil as backup. And um, Kleenexes, because meltdowns are messy when they do occur, um, so very important. And then again, take packs because I don't like smelling bad, and also oral stimulation. I'm an oral sensory seeker, so that's very important. Um, the next thing I have in here are pens because you never know when you're going to need to write something down or when someone might ask you for a pen. I have had people ask me for pens so much and I don't keep them in the pencil case because that's where I keep my chargers and that. Um, but I just sort of keep them with a little elastic band wrapped around them. Um, it's just easier for me. I can just toss them in my bag and I'm good to go. The next thing that I have in here is a camera case. Now, in this camera case, I do not have a camera in here. Um, this is actually where I found this little camera case and I thought about it and I was like, you know what this would be perfect for? Coupons. 
So this is where I keep all of my like coupons and like receipts and like papers that you don't want bumping around at the bottom of your bag. Um, I have in here, oh, that's that, but I have in here these um, like save $2, 20% um, off uh, Value Village coupons. I have a few of those. I also have these um, $5 um, gift cards that are on the receipts. So let's uh, go back in there, but I'll just show you guys here. So these are on the receipt. So I don't really need to see that, but you can see it says uh, $5 and uh, it says uh, $5. Uh, five dollars off so I have two of these so that's that's, that's ten dollars um, for value village so I'm really hoping that they honor them um, after this lockdown passes um, they probably won't let's be honest but I, I'm really hoping that they do um, because I just I really would like to be able to go and uh, spend them so that's great okay next up the next thing that I keep in here usually is um, I keep this little pile of business cards. Um, on the one we have my husband's uh, business cards and then on the back we have my business cards for my channel. Um, I keep these, these are actually, these are old, um, like the, the information on them is still current but the logo is old. Um, I do need to get some new ones but um, I always keep these on me just to um, give out uh, to people. Um, yeah, because you just you never know who you're going to run into. Um, next up, I keep um, my change purse. I got this change purse at Buy Village. I absolutely love it. Um, it's this leather flower. It's so pretty and it's so tactile. Like I just love the feeling of it and being able to like play with like the petals and stuff it's just it's really nice um, and then of course I never liked those squeeze change purses because I always found that they would pinch my fingers so I really like these ones with the snap on the top though and I love like the little clicking sound that they make when they close when it closes it's just it's so satisfying um, yeah this is my change purse I keep change in here that's literally anything all I keep in here is change um, I don't keep anything else in here. Next up is my wallet. I need a new wallet. Um, I do really like this wallet, but I just find that it's just, like just the shape of it, like, I don't know. It's just, it's, it, it bothers me. But I do like it because it's so, like it's so compact. Um, I do, I am gonna be getting separate card holders for some of my, for all of my reward and gift cards, like my rewards cards. I want one card holder for rewards cards, one card holder for gift cards, and then in here, I will have all of my important cards, like my credit cards, uh, SIM card, library card, bank cards, health card, ID card, like all my important cards, um, disability card, I will have all of those um, in here. I'm not going to show you guys those because you don't need to see my ID. But um, yeah, so. Okay, moving right along. Um, next thing I keep in here is, of course, my glasses. Let's see here, um, it's got this cute little pink uh, glass cleaning cloth. It's very soft. Um, and then it has, you guys don't need to see this, but it has my optometrist information on it. Um, yeah, oh, that was louder than I thought it was going to be. Sorry about that. Okay, next up, I have in here another glasses case. This is, oh, goodness. This is for my uh, clip-on sunglasses. Um, they clip onto the front. Even though I do have transitional lenses, um, sometimes I do find that they're not quite enough. Uh, for me um, for my light sensitivity, so I do um, like to have these clip-on sunglasses in case I need them and let's See what else I have in here 
I think that's about it. Oh, and of course, I mean, every Konkin backpack has one of these. Um, it has a little um, tabby in the back where you can put your personal information on. Um, oh, I almost forgot. There's two, 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 yeah, two more things in here. Sorry, two more things in here. Um, so yeah, so like I said, I also usually keep a water bottle in here, um, and sometimes my iPad just depends. Um, but the other thing I have in here is. Um, this little bear. I actually got this little bear when after my daughter passed away when I was on um, mental health ward. I got him. Um, he is just, he's a beanie baby and he's just so soothing and furry and I can like rub my face with him and like swim with him and he's just amazing. Um, I got him at the hospital um, and yeah, he was definitely my my companion for a lot of the time that I was on on mental health ward and I still find him so soothing and so comforting and he's just he's great so yeah I keep him with me and then last but not least um, I found that having just one pair of headphones sometimes wasn't enough like if I was on the go and one of them died or something and it died my headphones died I always found it wasn't quite enough so I ended up getting these these are the uh, sound Pete's uh, true capsule uh, uh, um, earbuds I really like these um, I tried airpods like a really long time ago but I found airpods they don't fit in my ears so my ears used to stick out and I had an ear tuck when I was like very young very very young and so now, because my ears are literally like sewn to the back, but like sewn back to my head, um, my ear canals are a funny shape, and so it causes, um, I mean, it causes some some difficulties. Not a lot of difficulties. Um, I hear perfectly fine most of the time, but um, but it definitely um, means that. Um, the one style of earbud, like the ones that are supposed to, they don't go right into the ear canal, but they just kind of sit on the outside of the ear canal like this. They will not, they will not stay in my ears. Um, this part of my ear is like a funny shape and they, they just won't stay in. So these are great. Um, they stay in my ears really well. You can see that they're the style. And they just they go right in and then they go right into the ear canal inside the ear canal from, from this part but then this part um, kind of makes it look like they don't it makes it look like they're the ones that just sort of sit on the outside yeah they're great I love them um, and this charging case is great I've gotten like almost a whole week out of these on a single charge like they're they're phenomenal for battery life and everything um, I wish it was a Type-C cable they charged with. It's not. It's the old micro USB, but that's the same for my other headphones. Um, I'm hoping my next pair will be Type-C, but who could tell? Okay, and last but not least, every single Fjall Raven okay, backpack comes with one of these. Um, it goes in the back of the backpack. It helps the backpack kind of keep its shape, but then also it means you always have something to sit on. And that is of course the gray seat pad um, that comes with every single um, Fall Ribbon Coffin backpack. Um, yeah, so I love it. Um, I got this one of course like I get everything. I get everything secondhand. I very rarely buy things new, just so you guys are know. Like if you ever see me with with like nice things and you're like how did she get that when she's on ODSP it's because I buy pretty much everything secondhand um, and I always look for the best deals so yeah but it's it's almost always secondhand from but only locally like so that I don't get scammed I don't ever order things secondhand from like far away it's only like local people that I can so that I can like if I can get my husband to drive to the person's house to pick up whatever it is that I'm getting 
and then drive home, um, then that's fine. Or if they come to my house and drop it off and then I'll pay them, that's fine. But I don't ever generally buy things new and I don't generally, um, I will buy some things new in the stores, but not like stuff like this, like more expensive stuff. I always try to buy it secondhand um, and always local if I'm buying secondhand. I don't ever generally, I think there was like maybe one time that I ordered something from like further away and that was because number one I couldn't find it secondhand local and number two it was an amazing deal and number three um, I was very 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 sure that I wasn't going to get scammed because I made sure because the person I only sent them part of the price of the item like I only sent them part of the money and then they sent me the receipt showing that it had been sent and then when it got here I checked made sure it was what they said it was and then I sent them the rest of the money so it worked out really well okay so there's that um, so that's sort of the end for the kind of what's in my bag portion of this video. Um, yeah. So I will be right back. I'm just going to run and get the Amazon order that came in today. I want to show you guys what we bought from Amazon for closer to the end of the month when I get my new phone and I give this phone to my husband. So I'll be right back. Hi guys. So this is the Amazon order that came in. I will show you guys that in a minute. Um, but first, I want to show you guys, this is one thing that I did actually buy new. Um, and this is the, um, it is a black web um, iPhone 6, 6S, 7, 8 case. Um, my husband is a Hufflepuff, so he loves anything yellow. Um, and is of course black web I got from Walmart I love black web I think that their brand is really really great quality at a really amazing price I really really love all of their um, electronics and their just everything I just I love black web I really do I've never had an issue with any of their products and I highly recommend them okay not sponsored by the way just really like the brand um, so yeah, so I bought this for him. This it's a yellow silicone case with this nice soft interior and it's got this kind of ring on the back and then it's got this wrist strap. So hopefully this will help my husband avoid dropping his phone so much. So, okay, the next thing that came in is for my new iPad when it does come in. Um, this is, this up this is an iPad case um, that I got it is um, from the poetic brand um, true protection poetic products designed from the ground up to protect every device from accidental drop and impact signature design protects from scratches as well so this it here Oh wow, this is really nice. So it's this and it has this kind of turtle shell design on the back, which I love. And yeah, it's really, really pretty. I love the color. Purple's my favorite color, so excellent. And yeah, I absolutely love it. So there is that. That's for my new iPad when it comes in um, from RBC. I talked about that in my other video. The next thing that came in are these two phone cases. Now one of these will be going back, I'm just not sure which one yet. So this is a stitch case, it's got stitch from Lilo and Stitch on it. Um, I don't know how well you can see that, I'll try to push it up so you can see it better, but yeah, it's got stitch on it. Um, it is for Lilo and Stitch, is my, one of my favorite Disney movies. Um, it is for the um, iPhone XR, 
which is fantastic. It is from the brand Case, which is really nice. I like this brand a lot. Um, yeah, so it's um, it's really, really nice. Um, so that's for the iPhone XR. I don't know if I'm getting an X or an XR just yet. Um, it's going to depend on what's available on the second hand sites that I shop on um, for local phones that are for sale. Um, yeah, so I'll have to see. Right now there's both X's and XR's available, but that changes daily. Um, like in terms of daily, there's new people posting phones and there's people who are selling phones all the time. So I, I'm always checking to keep myself updated on what's available. Um, yeah, so I don't know. Um, I shop on Kijiji and Facebook Marketplace as well. So, um, and then also the buy and sell group sometimes. Um, but yeah, I don't know how I'm going to be getting an X or an XR. So if I get an XR, this will be the case. If I get an X, it will be uh, this case, which matches the book sleeve that I have. I mean, it doesn't exactly match, but come on, it's pretty close. It's an eyeless black cat. I mean, it's fantastic. If you know me, you know I love black cats. I love anything Halloween. Um, so this will be perfect if I end up getting an iPhone X. Um, I'll let you guys know which one I decide to send back. Um, but yeah. And last but not least, this is also from the brand Case. This is a um, iPhone uh, 6, 7, 8 case um, for my husband. My husband is a Harry Potter nut. And this is a Harry Potter doodle case. So I don't know if you can see. So it's got like the Quidditch and Harry. And it's got, um, yeah, it's got Sirius and Dobby and the Hogwarts train and, and the prof some of the professors. And it's just. Professor Snape and the Sorting Hat and the Snitch and and Dumbledore and Fox and everything is just it's got everything so yeah it's fantastic I adore it um, my husband loves it too more importantly so yeah so that's what came in um, the Amazon package today and what I got from Walmart um, I hope you guys enjoyed seeing me kind of unpack all this for you. Um, and again, please uh, go and watch that episode of um, Unmasked Conversations. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I will see you guys all in my next video. Bye! Oh, stay safe and stay cozy. Bye!